Hello you guys, happy Saturday. I'm getting ready because Sebastian and I are going to our little one night staycation downtown for our honeymoon. Hold on, I'm getting a little stressed about this robe. This is the Skims robe and I love it. It's like a perfect fabric, super lightweight, very comfortable, but it's like a little wiggly sometimes. It gets a little stressful. Um, yeah, so we are heading out and I'm a little stressed about it because this is how you know Mowgli was a bit of a last minute purchase because my mom and my little sister have to come watch him um, just for the night. But my little sister is here now and then my mom will be over here to spend the night with him and with my little sister. So I felt a little bad about it. I was like, oh my God, we literally got him on Monday, but my family's so excited to help and to watch him. So I think it will be nice. It's just for one night, but I can feel myself already being like, <gasps> I feel so bad, I feel so stressed, all these things. Um, but I'm not gonna worry about it because people wouldn't offer to help if they didn't want to, you know? Um, so yes, I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup because we, have dinner reservations tonight at stone ground which i believe we've been there like at this point maybe like four or five years ago um i'm pretty sure so we're gonna go there for dinner which i think will be really really nice it has really great reviews it's really pretty and then we really want to go just check out a couple bars i really want to go to ivy i think it looks so pretty and honestly we just want to chill <laughs> like we need a full night's rest. I will tell you that much. The potty training has been going so well. Like I'm almost like, why is he so good? Like he is such a little smart dog and he honestly has not been hard at all. It's just the like sleep interruptions. Like, so I still get up with him at like 1am because I don't know, I want him to like stretch his legs a little bit in the crate and go to the bathroom. And then Sebastian wakes up with him at like 4 30 and then he's up for the day <laughs> so we've just been like a little sleepy it feels like um so we keep saying like oh my god i'm so excited to like sleep in the hotel <laughs> and just like have just you know a well-rested sleep i'm just doing a whole face of concealer i think i'm gonna bring my foundation to touch up at the hotel for tonight but i'm just using the maybelline super stay concealer i think it's pretty like you can still see my skin through it um, but it's pretty buildable. I like it. Going in with the Chanel bronzer. I can never say it, but it's my favorite. It's like a little orangey for me. I haven't tanned. I was supposed to tan this week, but then I didn't get to it. So I just kind of like blended in just a little bit. It's not like the perfect match for my skin right now, but I feel like bronzers are so hard when I have like my pale skin. I just feel like I haven't found the best one for it. I'm going to put a little bit of blush on. This is the, oh, it's this way. This is the Flower Beauty Balm Blush in the shade Nectar. I really like this. It's a really, really pretty one. I kind of switch between this one and the Rare Beauty and I just go with my fingers. I'm doing a very light it is pretty pigmented, but it just blends so well. I basically just put my whole face, like fingers on my face. And I just feel like a really blushed face is so pretty in the summer, especially when you're doing like not a lot of makeup. And blush is one of those things that it's like, it's scary at first, but then I'm telling you in like 10 minutes it goes away. <laughs> so I always like to do a little bit more on my cheeks and on my nose. And I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and soften it all up. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I think I wanna do like a fun, like flirty dress. Tomorrow's gonna be 84, which I think is so amazing. I'm gonna set my blush with the Milani Baked Blush in Blossom Time Rose. Pretty. I'm gonna set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me loose setting powder and I just do it on like the tiniest little brush because I like to do it just on the center of my face. It makes me look so like kind of filtered just a little bit. Just like a little softness under my eyes. And I always sweep it across my eyelid as well to help with like anytime I put eyeshadow on my eyes it just like if I don't do this stuff then it just gets like liney and weird. So put a little bit on the eyelid. I'm gonna do a quick 
face spray. This is the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is not like a makeup setting spray. I just like to add a bit of moisture to my skin. Then I go in with my beauty blender and just blend everything out. I just think it makes it look super natural, really pretty. Okay, this is my, we're just doing comfy cozy to the hotel. So oh. we've got like a little flare pant, a little cutout tank from Zara. I love this one, it makes it like a little more fun and exciting. I'm just gonna throw on some sandals. We're all packed. I had to last minute pack my robe. That is a pro tip, always pack a robe when you're going to a hotel. Sometimes they have them, but sometimes it's nice to pack the one that you already love. So Sebastian has one there too. <laughs> Are you getting excited? Yeah. I wanna go sneak and see what Mowgli is doing. Everyone's probably taking a nap. Hi baby, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, bye. He loves biting my nails. <laughs> Bye, Mo. We just checked in to our hotel. Look at how fancy how fancy this is. Me. Oh, right up the elevator. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, oh, oh nice. I love hotels. Wow, wow, look at this view. Cutie patoo. Wait, I want to see the view. That's nice. That's nice. Look at this nice full length. Oh, I love it. <laughs> just hit me in the head. I love it. What a nice city view. Downtown USA, baby. Happy anniversary. <laughs> look like angels <laughs> with yeah, this super. little thing. I think now. We are gonna go get some J Dogs. Yeah. Just a little light cake. I cannot. <laughs> what those things? <laughs> I just ran into that. Um, just a little light snack before we go to dinner tonight because our reservation isn't until seven. So I love that we're right by, I love that like Walker Center thing, building. There are two types of Indian people in this world what? people like Sebastian who just checked it up. Just checked in for drink responsibly. Just checked into a hotel and wants to organize everything and put it all away. And then me, who literally wants to get the f out and go find food. But it will be nice to come back with everything unpacked. I'm gonna put my robe on my bed. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> Sebastian just told me to vlog. What? <gasps> they had robes. And they're super nice. Oh, they're so nice. Let's switch them out with us. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, you're coming with me. That's embarrassing that I brought brought mine like a poor person. We're staying at the... Wait, does it have it? We're staying at the Marriott. It's actually so cute here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, because it's hot out there. This is our bathroom. Oh, I cannot... You know like when you can't wait to get ready in a bathroom? This is me. I can't wait to do... Like, get ready with me. That's a very nice shower. Cute. We're running a little bit behind. <laughs> we did some shopping at City Creek, but just for swimsuits so that we could do the hot tub tonight. Um, and then we went back to the hotel and literally took a nap. So we got ready. I'm wearing a cute little thrifted like feather black dress, which is so fun. I'll show you guys later when we get back to the hotel. It was just a rush to get ready. My man looks good. We are ready to eat. We're gonna go to Stone Ground. I'm honestly not even hungry, but I think it'll be nice. Nice ambience, we'll probably get a wine or Don't something. Don't know how bloated we are. You guys, we are <laughs> so bloated. Like, I literally just went onto Amazon. Something is wrong with our gut health, I'm telling you. I cannot even stand up straight. I'm so bloated. And I think it's because we eat gelato. I don't know, it's just like not fun. So Jacqueline Hill, she actually just did an Amazon fate, like must haves video and she mentioned aloe vera, like concentrate. And she says if you drink a shot of that every single day, it's super good for your digestive health and stuff like that. So I literally bought it because I'm miserable in my stomach and Sebastian was miserable earlier today. So, whew, I don't know what's wrong with us, but man, it is just like affecting your whole day when you're like, when your stomach just hurts. And it's not like, oh 
go to the bathroom. It's not that, it's like stabby, bloaty pains, but. Anyway, so cute for our anniversary trip. That is what marriage is about. Yeah. <laughs> um, but thankfully we're close to the restaurant, right? I don't know. Oh God. I think so. <gasps> anyway. Stone ground? Yes. We'll see you on the flip side. Back in the elevator, we just went to dinner, we went to Stone Ground. What do you rate it? Mm -mm -mm. Usually our favorite like Italian place to go to is Cafe Molise, which we wanted to go, but then we were like, let's try somewhere new. This one I think I would give. I'd give it like a six. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah. It, was it wasn't pricey. that good. It was pretty pricey and it was the food was alright. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Even the good. service was kind of weird. I know, I feel like the service was whatever. The wine wasn't that good. Like it was all just like eh. so. Not our favorite, but I am I felt bummed that we didn't go to our favorite. Uh, but it was nice to try something new. So I think now, how the freak do you turn this on? I need like a lamp. Now I, I'm gonna get changed because we're gonna go walk around the city a bit, but I'm in these crazy heels that it's just, it's not possible. So I think I'm gonna change up, but look at our view. I'm actually obsessed with our view. The windows are always dirty at hotels, but it's a really, really fun view. You know what you tell them? What? You tell them. Um, the epiphany of like an anniversary trip we clogged the toilet in the hotel room. <laughs> not, I'm sorry, not we. Literally you. You got here and you went to the bathroom and then it's been clogged ever since. So <laughs> I don't know how that would be us. But the epitome is just saying to each other, are you bloated? <laughs> oh my God, But I think yeah. that might be us. We just have like allergies, you guys, or something. Yeah, these are the heels I was wearing, which are so cute. Oh, I didn't show you guys my... My whole outfit. We'll do it in here really quick. I only have one shoe on. But this is like a cute little black sparkly dress. It's going to be impossible to see in this lighting. Ugh, it's not focusing. But it's just a cute strappy dress. These are like little feathers. I have on some cute strappy heels. And I wore my blazer just so that it kept me warm. But if I was tan, I would have it without the blazer. Where are we going to go? Mm -hmm. I have to change. That's for sure. Yeah, let's get this change and just walk around Gallivan Center and just get a couple drinks and. Okay. Wait, where did you put our Forever 21 stuff? Oh, in my bag. <gasps> okay, I want to show them what we got. We had to go buy swimsuits because they have a hot tub that we want to go to tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord, I can't get my shoe up. I don't know if we can tonight. Why? It's already like. What time is it? It's already like 9. You're kidding. Then we bought these for no reason. No, we can go tomorrow. Oh, that's that'd be true. fun like in the morning. Look at Sebastian's. A cute little purple. They're looking like a little blue with the TV, but purple. And then mine. Oh, and he also got a new shirt. Pos you like it? Yeah, I do. It's so cute. Positivity. We love it. And I actually want to wear that right now. Do it. I might get like comfy. Yeah, I get comfy because I'm going to get comfy. Not like comfy, but cute comfy. And then this is my little top. They didn't have any matching sets, so you had to mi mix and match. So I got cute little green bottoms. So I kind of think that's cute together. Anyway, I guess we're gonna get changed now. Go out, just to see what downtown has in store for us. In a wild turn of events, we decided just, oh, this never focuses. We decided to put on our swimmies, put on our robes, put a nice mixed drink, drink responsibly, in our tumblers and go to the hot tub that's just more us more our vibe you know so that's what we're gonna do and i'm actually so excited about it <laughs> do it again <laughs> you're so stiff <laughs> y'all we got the hot tub to ourselves baby look at this 
fans. Hey. Wow, I wish we could see. Oh yeah, you still can see the city view. Oh, it's toasty in here. That's nice. Okay, hotel hot tub. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Here is my little Sunday day dress. I thrifted this from Uptown Cheapskate. I think it's cute. So we just have tennis shoes on. We're going to go to Eva's Bakery, get some breakfast super quick, and then we'll be back home with our little Mo boy. I'm so excited. My mom told me that he, well, actually it was my little sister. <laughs> I don't know why I said my mom. Um, but my little sister told me he didn't have any accidents last night. I think it's crazy. Like not just last night, but all day. He's kind of has this one spot on our tile that if we don't like get to him fast enough or something, I don't know, he just has had accidents there, but he didn't have any, which I thought was so good of him. I'm so excited to see him but it's been really fun last night we didn't end up going out we stayed here in the room which was really fun and just kind of more our vibe and then we went up to the pool into the hot tub and it was really fun and then after the hot tub actually we went and got some late night snacks we drove around downtown a little bit it was really really nice and fun so it's been a great morning so far i slept like a little baby all the way through the night and just got a little bit ready like you guys have seen and now I'm hungry. I just had a Reese's peanut butter cup for breakfast, so let's get it going. Babe, are you ready? Please be born. Oh, oh that's sick. It's nice oh, outside. Oh, <gasps> that would have been perfect to bring Mowgli. And just like that, we are home. Me and Sebastian did end our anniversary getaway at Trader Joe's. So I thought I would do a quick Trader Joe's haul because I got some good stuff. I love their eggs, so we had to top off on some eggs. I have seen these everywhere on TikTok. They are the uh, Elote Corn Chip Dippers. <gasps> are you kidding me? That just sounds like the perfect snack, especially today, how it's warm outside. Um, we got some white mushrooms to cook with. We love mushrooms. Sebastian wanted to get this Peri Peri sauce. I have no idea what this is or what this tastes like, but I'm guessing it would be really good on like chicken, maybe like vegetables or something. Our first ever, well, we have treats for him, but our first ever Trader Joe's dog treats. So these are dog treats with peanut butter and banana, and I thought he would like those in the mix of the like milk bones we already have. We got an arugula salad that has arugula, carrots, almonds, and like a lemon vinaigrette, which I think is nice to serve like with chicken while we're running around, super busy. I got some Persian cucumbers to snack on. I love cucumbers as a snack. Uh, we got the Southwest salad to have quickly for lunch. We're just going to share it with like some sides. Then I got a bunch of potatoes because I love making mashed potatoes. It's like one of my new favorite things to do. So we got a few of those. Then I picked up some tulips for our bedroom and then this cute bouquet for the table. I love Trader Joe's flowers. And then last bag, we got the milk and dark chocolate covered almonds. I kind of like that they were both. I feel like it's gonna be a nice mix between the two. We just got some penne pasta, because I always like to have that on hand. Sebastian picked up this roasted tomatillo salsa. I don't think we've tried it before, but we'll see. I got the chunky guacamole. This stuff is so good. It's made with Greek yogurt and it's delicious, so I thought that I could try it with the corn dippers. The always famous Trader Joe's hash browns. <laughs> I said that weird hash browns that I'm gonna put in our air fryer and like top it with an egg. A lot of people use avocado as well, but I'm not a big like avocado toast fan, so I think I'll just do that. So I should pick up this spicy mango lemonade. This sounds delicious. So we're gonna do a taste test of that. Then this is my favorite mac and cheese. This is the 
I cannot speak today. The Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. I don't know why I like the Reduced Guilt one, but it's so good and creamy. Then this is amazing. And the best thing about Trader Joe's is when you're going through the line, the workers will tell you if you got something really, really good. And both of them said that this stuff is so good on its own, but also as like a mixer for margaritas. So we're gonna do that. I think that sounds delicious. Cherries are one of my favorites to snack on during the summer season. I got the steamed chicken soup dumplings. Sebastian and I love soup dumplings, but I've never had them like at the grocery store and everyone seems to really like them. And then last item, some grapes. So we didn't really need like stuff for dinners or anything. We have like meats, we have veggies for the most part. And this was just like fun snacky things at Trader Joe's. So um, I'm really excited, honestly. I'm gonna try this right now. I'm hungry. Ooh, they are so like packed with spices. So good. Oh my God, so good. Hi, Mowgli. 